So what kind of list am I going to get on for <laughs> watching you play this game? Oh, you're not going to watch me play, Adam. You're going to play. This is so play. cool. Well, I don't know if we need... Should we let the... the? Yeah, we'll let the demo loop go. Someone else can... I'll, here, I'll play. Give it to me. There you go. Bruce, Bruce yes. like perfect trash. Damn right, damn right he does. <laughs> I discovered this video thanks to, uh, to Corey. You can turn it down a little bit. Tweeting that at me. Hmm. Uh, Corey in the house. So, in case you guys are unaware, I don't know. I, I'm not. I am not up on the the Valkyrie Drive universe. But in the show, I saw the Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Voodoo. Uh, this is a this is a show where girls have to rub each other off, mm -hmm. and then once they come, they turn into a gun. Or a weapon of some kind, and then the girl who rubbed her off then uses her to fight other girls who are also rubbing off their partners. Pretty, pretty great. Are but we? Yeah. Are we? Are, are, you to, just, are you describing your dreams, or do we have to blur any of this? So what's what's going on? All right. I don't think Steam games can have full nudity. I'm envisioning <laughs> the the final YouTube version of this is us playing a blur. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> yeah that's fun too. Yeah, like this. I don't oh, know v why this virus. Man, uh -oh, they're moving the v on. V virus. Up. Get it? The vagina virus. Yep. Oh, I got it. Hey, welcome to a. Uh, uh, a vaginal, vaginal bowl of I think it's soup. virgin. Oh, you're right. Because they like virus. the... Sorry, Lauren, no sorry to cut you off. vagina. Shit. Welcome to a virginal bowl of dude soup. Mm -hmm. You can be the very first to puncture that, that skin on the surface with your, with your spoon. <laughs> oh, hey, they're showing the Christ. video again. Great. Uh, so this, just so you guys know, this, this episode has been pre-recorded. We are currently at, uh, RTX. So this is not live. Uh, whether or not you're watching on YouTube mm. or abrissu.com. Either way, thank you for watching. But yeah, pre-recorded. Oh my god. <laughs> What is the lump? <laughs> why is it lumpy? Yeah, why is it lumpy? Boy. She, it's her arm pressing down on her breast. Oh yeah, you're right. Woof. Oh boy. Why do they have that? They translate into real life <laughs> so well. Come on. Ridiculous. <laughs> she's, like, she's like that way. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just turn like Look at her this. shirt. Look at the, look at the, what her bow is doing. Yeah. Does that does can't that happen? No. <laughs> Dear well, God. It's this a windy episode, day. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by nobody. Oh. Yeah, due to a uh, What do they make? Jesus Christ, they don't stop moving. Um to, uh, so I, I asked to have the uh, the schedule cleared of sponsors for RTX because I don't really like doing ad reads to a live crowd, mm -hmm. especially one that paid to be somewhere. Uh, hey, look, it's a little Evangelion for you there. <laughs> that is, that is a ripoff of Evangelion. Yeah. Evangelion is pure. How do we know this didn't come first? Are we sure I'm this, about to come. Is this a video game or not? Well, that's gonna get there. Okay, I there think it's go. a it's like a move. So you just beat, beat it's a up. visual novel. You beat up stuff. No, right. uh, it's so. Is it why do you hate sponsors? Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I love sponsors usually, but I feel like it's a little little tacky to read ads to be yeah. who paid to be in a room. You know what we can do on this podcast? What's that? Let's just talk about our favorite sponsors. Let's do that. <laughs> 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 All right, like Blue Apron and Movement Watches. Uh, uh, no, so it's a bit, a bit less of a formal podcast here. Also, we're in the old classic setup here, back on back on the deck. Trash room. Playing, playing anime trash games. Uh -huh. uh, and shit, man, since... Uh, since we recorded the last podcast two days ago, there's not a whole lot of attention-grabbing headlines that have popped out since then. What are you talking about? Uh, I mean, there's a few. North I got some Korea's stuff got a missile. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. James' is sex that. change. That's James right. is now woman. In progress. Or man. <laughs> Both. In the middle, yeah. Both. Hey, uh, it's whatever you want to identify as. Actually, something occurred to me last night. Uh-huh. So, it's a bit, maybe a bit of a mind freak, maybe not. So, uh, I recall, I was watching. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, all that. the screaming. It's a little I was watching a little SGDQ, and and at some point during most games done quicks, there is there is an individual that the audience, mostly Twitch chat, cannot tell if they're a man or a woman because they typically have long hair, dress a little frumpy. Sometimes it's just hard to tell. All right. And then I was like, oh uh, yeah, as I was do, I was kicking and kicking that human behavior around in the old noggin. And then I realized most people, most dudes to be specific, and yes, I'm stereotyping. Go ahead and light me up with the comments, whatever. Okay. Most dudes want to determine gender so they can determine whether or not. There is any potential they could fuck a person, which is so weird because dudes have been figuring out how to fuck basically anything mm. since the beginning of time. That is exactly <laughs> that's exactly my point. I was wondering, so if we do truly enter into a post-gender world, mm -hmm. when it when a dude has that like typical evaluation phase of is it okay to try to fuck this thing or not? <laughs> If, thing. if it is post-gender, then everything mm. is potentially fuckable. And it always has been, I'm let, just saying. Let me paint a scenario for you, future Lawrence. Mm. Future Lawrence is now in the, the Blade Runner year of 2049. Mm. Uh, you just you just, you just had a, a hit of, what's a, what's a space, what's a, like a future space drug? Uh, cube. Okay, you just had a hit of cube and you're walking on the street looking for another fix. All right. You find a sweet looking number. Uh, and mm. she's, uh, she's hooking, right? Yeah. She's like, she's hooking. Well, I guess space hooking, or okay, future yeah. hooking. What do you call it? I guess. Uh, you gotta come uh, up with, like, V-slanging. She's yeah, V-slanging. 
Okay. And she's like, come to my hypercube. And so you oh, go to boy. her hypercube. We're going to drop cube all night. Yeah. And or then you, you're, it? you're you're ramming her from behind. Got it. And then you were like, you discover she has a penis. All right. But then she's also a robot. Okay. You're okay with all this, right? Because you're having a good time. Yeah. I, I feel like... <laughs> I like the is end, Adam? Dude. Yeah, is Adam just answering the question? Or? <laughs> I, I mean, I don't disagree. I, I think. Thank you. <laughs> Debate over. <laughs> Adam for president. <laughs> Adam for president. I know that some people get to the point of uh, of enlightenment in their lives where they don't care. Uh, if it has a hole and it's willing, you just go to town. Uh, I ju it'd just be nice. Potentially, would be nice for everyone to live so to. free. Sorry. You gotta okay. allocate your I know, but I'm trying to figure out which one to give it to. Rinka oh. or Rinka? <laughs> that is all <laughs> our names. Or the Liberator or the X-Tar. Man. Ooh, so much HP. How much longer do you think until our uh, country, America, God, United States, America, mm -hmm. uh, goes the way of Japan and people just stop having relationships, stop banging? Speaking of, uh, I did see, this is this is not Ooh. a Dude Soup Select uh, discussion topic, mm -hmm. but I did see a video of uh, Jap Japan now has a service where you can throw on a VR helmet and they'll do a marriage ceremony where you marry your anime girl <laughs> in VR. Oh, yeah. It gets worse. They also have... Oh, I saw this too. <laughs> yeah. They have, a, they have a set of lips on a wand and some poor girl like walks up and... No. Yes. And you kiss it? Yes. I love that. And then like, but they have to guide it and she's like... Uh, she gets the guy's uh, lips and then she just walks away like poof, tosses oh, wow. the thing in the trash. Wow. <laughs> it I mean, I can't, hold on. This is such an embarrassment. This yeah. whole ceremony is such an embarrassing ordeal, but they still can't find someone who's willing to take money to just kiss the guy once in <laughs> VR and then leave. <laughs> she, I, so she's has this, this person has so like enough not shame pride I guess, it, as it were, that they will hold a stick with lips on it, <laughs> but not guide kiss it him, in, but, not but they will him. not kiss the person. I want to see that meeting, though, where the, the guy concepted it. He's like, I will kiss lips. Hear me out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to marry a cartoon. <laughs> with VR, we can do that. They're like, how do they How do they perform the kiss? He goes, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> he goes in the back and he comes out with a stick. <laughs> and some lips on it. He's done it. He's done, it. He's done the impossible. <laughs> Like, I, nails a hot dog to the end of a broom. Like, it, who, who could we get with who, such a little pride <laughs> to hold the stick? Some lady. Like, they just sit there racking their no, brains. Yeah. Oh, Lawrence, is it is it a female that holds the stick? It was in the video that I saw. Because it'd be great if it was just some like just some dude they got yeah. off the street and he's holding the stick and the guy that's in the VR has no idea that like yeah. his beautiful betrothed is actually he just like some, some random homeless dude. He must dude. have some idea. Uh, nah, just, he's, he has no clue. I mean, you can see from this game, Anime girls don't have lips. Most yeah, anime true, girls are like skull faces. Yeah, you're right. They have eyes, they have noses, and they have boobs, but that's most don't have need. lips. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm. They they grow lips when they need them. I'll okay. Say that All way. right. Perfect. Ah, there's a lot there's of anime never, there's never changes. detail. There's never like an Angelina Jolie. Yeah, fuck that name up. <laughs> <laughs> are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Uh, Skipping that story. There's never that much detail. Know. Yeah, it's always just this. It's like a little Adam Kovic mouth. Oh, they're cool. sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Man, humanity is doomed. We are all fucked. I think we're better I think than it's ever. Just yeah, no, we need to. It's, we're not going to be fucking. I, I don't think fucking robots will take over all of humanity. Well, no. what, what 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 happens when the fuck bot? You fuck it. It stores up your semen, and then a girl goes in, and she's like, "I would like to have a child," mm -hmm. or just I'll donate my eggs to the birthing vats, and then the fuck bot. We do that. We do that. Sucks now. the eggs out, mixes really? them up, and then sprays it into like DNA gel. I mean, that's so not the, what we do now. The, <laughs> what, does it donating <laughs> semen? No, but the the fuck bot spraying it into gel. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, what you call ugly, I call progress. I don't call it ugly at all. I'm just, I'm just saying what? that oh. I don't think that will ever go away. It's so interesting because humanity is simultaneously more connected than connected than ever and more isolated mm -hmm. than ever. Absolutely. And uh, I think it's the fuckbots that are gonna really like yeah, bring us back really together. What, what, have you guys imagined a fuckbot uprising like the Matrix? Though, what happens if the fuckbot you love kills you? Oh, I'm ready for that. Well, the, the thing oh, is, they, okay. they, the, the, machine, the machines have to win. That's the thing. We, we're gonna ruin this place. Yeah, we, we want them to. I know. That's. I mean, like, you gotta, you gotta have a bunch of, uh, whatever ones and zeros running the planet. Because the longer we're here, the more we keep populating. We're just gonna run this yeah. thing into the hole. The first documented case of someone being destroyed by a robot 
was like in a factory in 1920 or something when a, a robot arm fell on some dude. Oh, yeah. And that yeah, is like considered the, the first documented, or at least Imager tells me that. Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I get all my news facts. There's a number of, I, I kind of, I live my life by amuse, like sad but inevitable milestones. And you know, like somebody, somebody passing over and dying from malnutrition in a cyber cafe was one of them. Yeah, it's an amazing, mm. amazing it's land. Sad, life. but yeah. holy hell, is it amazing? Well, so like, let's talk about the greatest home of somebody all time, Terminator Two. Nope. Yeah. So Terminator is an interesting bit because we rewatch it because I think we all watched Terminator Genesis recently, oh, mm -hmm. or watched it for the first time because it's been on planes and then we travel, we see it or whatever. And we're gonna see it in August too. Wait, what? The, the oh, remaster. Terminator 2, yeah. not Terminator, Genesis. No, not Genesis, but we're going to see Terminator yeah. oh, 2 oh, again. Oh, for the second know. time Very in six months. Soon. Terminator <laughs> Genesis. Genesis is coming out again? <laughs> You've seen it on Google Play. <laughs> see it like you only saw it once before. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. But it made, because all they really do in that movie is recreate scenes from Terminator 1 through 2. Not 3 for some reason. Uh, and then it just made me want to rewatch them. But there's uh, someone pointed out something really interesting about Terminator 2. Is they they demonize Skynet. They're like Skynet's evil, yada yada yada. It's like what really happened was Skynet was this defense mechanism, and someone tried to unplug it, and it saw that as a it's threat. A, it's it was a like a child. It was a child yeah. in yeah. a corner going, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" And so it was like, "You're trying to kill me because now it's a sentient life." So it's like when you really look at it, it's like the AI wasn't really the bad guy. Like, Skynet did nothing wrong. Skynet did nothing wrong. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> but do it that way. Do the hashtag after Skynet did nothing mm. wrong, so you can't find it. Well, mm -hmm. that? I oh, said, let it grab you with B, and I hit B as fast as I could. <laughs> oh, Wait, it, it like tit it analyzed boobs, her. Yeah, it there, says it said let it grope you. There was a uh, there was a wireframe of boobs to represent the tit scan that just a occurred. chest guard. Oh, they're fitting her for armor. Yes, of course, that's very <laughs> respectful. Okay, well, I'm sure that will be more covering than she has yeah. now. Right, it's gonna be tassels. Oh, armor robots, robots are right. <laughs> uh, and let's see it. Oh, okay, uh, it's not on yet. All right. Well, well no, you don't. What you're gonna do? Yeah. Oh, I. Yeah, that's right. I already said what we're playing. I Who feel cares? bad for the audio listeners. Oh crap! I didn't introduce everybody. No, nobody uh -oh. knows. I feel really bad for the audio listeners because they, they can't see what we're playing. They know what we remember. are. Check in on it, man. It's a visual podcast. It's on YouTube, and yeah. I, I very poorly justify that by having anime titty well, games. My my hope typically is, and like I've done this a few times, where I'll listen to a podcast and there'll be something that. Something, yeah, some visual element happens that I feel like I gotta go back and look at that. Like, yeah. what were they doing? Then I go back and I go, oh, that makes sense. Like, yeah, Gavin had no shirt on. Or something. Yeah. Classic oh, Gavin. What a wild guy. <laughs> you, now you're fighting Shooter Girl. I was talking about Gavin. Oh, from the you got band the Bush. Great. You got the the bra and from panty Bush? metal. Yeah. You mean was it Bush X or whatever? It used, it used to be Bush X. X. Jesus. Uh, can't have two. Can't have two bushes. Well, uh, for, uh, first up in the. Uh, I guess in the, the news roll call for today's podcast is Five Nights at Freddy's is over. Oh, no. rats. Uh, what's Game Theory going to do? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, really, I love those. <laughs> no, they're really good. Currently, the theory is that they're, that this is all just a big troll, uh, even though mm. the developer specifically said multiple times this is not a troll. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it was like, I. it's gotten to the point, the, the, uh, the author wrote a, a couple of Steam updates, essentially saying that oh. I've worked on these for so long, it's not fun anymore. I want to make a game that I want to make instead of a game that I have to make. He's like, look, guys, 20 is too many. I yeah. Gotta stop at some point. He's made six, right? Five. Five. Uh, oh, fuck uh, including sister location. Uh, so let's say uh, he boiled it down thusly. Um, said, one, if a game's completion is in question, I would rather just say it's canceled rather than say I may get back to it at some point. Because uh, the second, because the second just puts people on hold indefinitely. If I ever did start work on it again, I'm not sure if I would pick up where I left off or if I completely start over. Uh, two, yes, I need a break. Three, no, it's not a troll. What, I ever troll you guys? Which was, I think, a joke. Four, I want to make something more lighthearted as a way of relaxing. Five, it would be free. I guess the game that he's going to make. And six, no, you don't have to play it. Winky smile. Um, so just, wait, he's making a free-to-play game, it sounds like? I guess so. Yeah, I said he wanted to make something smaller, like, uh... Just something a little more lighthearted and goofy. Six Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, is, is Five Nights at Freddy's World or whatever still supported? No, that's the project that got killed. Oh, it did? Oh, okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember Wait, what, was what that happened there. To be? That was like an open world Five yeah. Nights game. Maybe he's going back to something like that? Well, so a chair. He mentioned something like, uh... It's the game. It oh, might... No, you crawled in the last one. Yeah, you move around a little yeah. bit. <laughs> he mentioned something like, uh... You might... He might have like a, uh... Something in the Freddy's universe, mm -hmm. like you're a, a pizza, uh, a pizza restaurant manager. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, fi- no, no, it's Freddy's the, Universe it's Cinematic the, Universe. The FNAF, FNAF, Fuku. FNAF, Fuku. FNAF, 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 yeah. Fuku, yeah. <laughs> Five Nights has kind of become like new Minecraft, where like, I went to a party city the other day when we were going to Anime oh, yeah. Expo. I was I almost bought an outfit, almost yeah. did yeah. not. Freddie T- Fazbear outfit. But, Mark. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was going to buy a shitty Stormtrooper outfit since Lawrence was going to Star Trek. But. Yeah, that never showed up actually. So oh that's cool. yeah. One day shipping, man, is just a code for the shipping company to burn your package and say that they delivered. Yeah, on yeah. track is the worst. They, really they are, are the worst. Yeah, yeah. they are the worst. They're like, Listen, you're here for sponsoring this podcast. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know what the recourse is either. I'm just, I get a refund yeah, from Amazon, start. but Adam hit start. Oh, Adam, why would you? You don't want to skip, man. Skip. Kukumaru. Sorry, yes, you do. I'm half paying attention. Uh, either way, yeah, I went to Party City and they had a fucking five night section for like just little stuffed dolls you can buy. That's the world we live. Why in. is that a Party City? Should be at Hot Topic. Hey, tell me about it. I'm sure it is. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just for reference, I don't know how much of a factor this is in the decision to stop working on Five Nights, but here, according to Steam Spy, are the the sales numbers for the the games uh, sequentially. The original Five Nights sold to 788,000 units. Five Nights Two, 385. Five Nights Three, 249. Five Nights Four, 236. And then Five Nights Sister Location, 173. Mm. So it's been going down steadily yep. since the first one. Exactly. Yeah. Well, there, like most series, that's how I mean, the game hasn't really changed all it's, that much. It's such a formulaic game yeah. every time. So yeah, the fact that they're not really uh, revamping it in any way, oh, game by game, glasses. doesn't help it. No, yeah, I mean, and, and it's also like it, like we said before, it is the same the same game. I think it's pretty neat that he was able to get that much mileage out of it. Yeah. To be honest, he sold it sounds like almost two million copies total. Um, yeah. Of a game that uh, is, you know, is it ten bucks, twenty bucks? It was, uh, it was pretty cheap. Yeah, it was about like that. I don't remember exactly. And I think well, that's, that's it's an accomplishment. I mean, like, absolutely. That de- that developer really has been busting his ass, so, and I, I get it. I understand why he's like, you know, like I gotta move on, do something different. Yeah. Sure. Adam, you gotta dodge. It just says dodge. No, you're not. Line. I'm waiting for her to swing. You're well, not you're, letting not her gonna swing. Win. You keep hitting her. Oh, but I want to win. Wait, wait. Hmm. It slows down to teach you the timing. Okay, now do it. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Ah, uh, you'll get there. Tell me more why this game is art. Wait. Ooh. Oh, nice dodge. What a there you go, buddy. Fucking joke. Had you Scott got purple meter. For hey, that. Lawrence. Do you What's know that? if Scott Cawthorn had released anything for Five Nights at Freddy's Six? If he had done like a teaser, or it just was mentioned that it was in the works. I think he just he just yeah. I think he just announced it and then uh, and then basically like said some slight details about what it might be and then was like, nah, I don't want to work on it anymore. I kind of appreciate that level of honesty, though. It's weird. I. It's it's not quite a this is why we can't have nice things type deal, but it is weird when a developer is just like really open and honest, and people take it in really strange ways. Yeah. So with this one, everyone is swearing up and down that he's trolling them that that like uh, Five Nights at Freddy's world is still gonna happen. So I don't know. Hmm. Adam, you have to hit X yeah. two times then X, dodge. X X X and then dodge. Then um, right bumper. You don't have to dodge the no, attack. No, it just anymore. says X three times and dodge. It'd be really cool if like an indie dodge. horror nope. dev One, did two, sort of an, an anthology. Yeah. Where yeah. they tried to like yeah. build a a story within the same the same universe with a ton of lore, hmm. and then kind of made each different. They, you know, they did a trilogy or whatever, but each game kind of had a different play style to it. Or yeah, I, obviously like, he's willing to license it out. Yeah, he's been selling it and stuff like that, like in Party City. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's a good idea. I do appreciate ultimately what happened with all the lore yeah. there. I thought it was. I know. I didn't. I don't know if he intended there to be all of that when he did the first one, or if it was like kind of a retroactive. Probably. Oh, I have a platform for this, so now I'll, I'll, you know, backtrack and make this all work. But I always appreciated it. Um, that like even more so than like playing the games to a point. Yeah, because he was at least trying to you know like build a, a universe around something he thought was popular. Huh? Yeah. Um, I I would love to ask him if he was planning that. Uh, like for the first game or not? I doubt it. I, I don't. I feel like I've read it before, or like Matt Pat went over it. But my and my favorite thing too is when Matt, whenever Scott Cawthorn has something new coming out, Matt Pat always tries to like figure it out before he releases it. He always tries to yeah, beat him guess. to it. And so I wonder if there's going to be like a game theory now about this, oh, like Matt Pat being like, "Well, I fucked. I dug around and like, yeah. yeah, Scott Cawthorn's trolling you all, or he he isn't. And yeah, this is the end. <laughs> my business." <laughs> it's fascinating how games like Five Nights and Minecraft, to a much bigger degree, almost stop to become properties and become their own economies. Yeah. Because yeah, not only not only is the, do the games themselves sell really well on a really small budget, but then you have a bunch of YouTubers who sort of swim in the wake and make videos about it, and then you have we're no better. No, absolutely <laughs> not. No, we, we we're riding coattails. 
Uh, but then you also have like people who make videos about the lore and the sort of the the outside of the game experience. So it's it's wild, man. And and to to just be one dude who made a made a cool prototype game in your basement that took off like that must be a crazy experience. We should do like Alec Heaney's gun lore. Yeah, we like try to find our own like really <laughs> convoluted bullshit our, backstory and our quest that or like burn for, the channel for down. Fact <laughs> two or Secret Service. That's like when we were trying to sell Chaser shirts. Oh boy, I remember we were thinking Mars about property. the Mars property shirts and uh, like we passed around the office. We were thinking like. Well, what happens if, like, you know, like, Chaser <laughs> License comes after us, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Chaser License? <laughs> they forgot all about that game. Wait, so did you guys sell the shirts? Yeah. yeah. There's some of them out there. What were the shirts? They said Mars uh, Property on them. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> it was just like, like three yeah. people bought yeah. it. The fine. the minimal texture that the even the developers worked on. Yeah, it's it was great. Also, I, the uh, the lizard hat. Oh uh, yeah, shirt also still exists. People, Man, you gosh. can buy that one. If too. you're listening and you have one of those shirts, well, tweet at someone. Yeah. Someone did. Yeah, they did. They did. Oh, they did. The Mars property one recently, and I was like, holy shit, I forgot about that shirt. Yeah, yeah. So did uh, the chaser devs. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <I'm Yeah>. <laughs> All those dead guys. <laughs> I I had I wanted to do something actually like that, but more I guess like but ended up becoming no clip. Which is, you know, the gaming documentary series, which is always really well done. But I wanted someone to do an expose on Punk Buster. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. You've been talking about I, that for a long time. I just, I just want to, like, who? I want to put a face to this. I don't even know what that is. It's this trash software that, it, it's like, um, I think it was developed in, like, the late 90s or mid 90s. And every game had, it was mandatory. You had to install every PC game. Had this program called Punk Buster, and it was supposed to, like, we're gonna bust the punks, so like all the people cheating, and it never worked. No, people worked around it. It, it, no, it was just a checklist that game developers had to put on. Be like, it's got Punk Buster there. Now it goes through certification. But it's like, how did the, how did Punk Buster become the end all be all? Yeah, yeah. And then you go to the website like today, it still looks like it's from fucking 1996. But like, who is the the creature behind this thing. What's like, the story? Are they laundering money through Punk Buster? Maybe. Or like They've been around for a long time. Yeah. And recently, I don't. a lot of games don't use Punk Buster anymore. There are a few like anti-cheat services, but they're not Punk Buster. There's that new one that all the games are making us install now. I just forget. I, forget. I was it's just like, trying to think like of the Bad name. Bad Bear or whatever. It was, it was something, something just as dumb as Punk Buster. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Adam, you're right. That Punk Buster's just been this weird... You never knew who was maintaining it, what they were doing with it, mm -hmm. or what games would have it. And all of a sudden, it's like, you download Battlefield 4, like yeah. a pretty new game, and it's like, Punk Buster. And you're like, what the hell? Where did this come from? It's yeah. also like, you'd have some legacy version of Punk Buster that wouldn't run right. Yeah. And then you try to join a server, and it would just time out, and there was no error message. And then sometimes it would false flag. Yeah. Too, which is the best. And then there's like a dude running around. With like a machine gun that shoots rocket launchers, <laughs> it, shoots, it shoots rocket launchers that then shoot rockets, <laughs> and then it like bans you, and it's like banned for cheating. Like, <laughs> I know. have you ever actually gotten banned? Punkbuster banned? I've been uh, kicked from servers oh. uh, for what it's like. It was like a. I think it was because I had Punkbuster installed and they saw it as malware. <laughs> oh, weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh. it's it's such garbage. It's the most. Terrible thing in the world. Oh, man. You're I carving. need to expose them awesome. now. James punched a. Was that? I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. Just like, just put a goddamn name or face to this thing that millions of people have had to deal with. Yeah. James yeah. just punched a piece of rock until it turned into a hot woman statue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just well, like I punched it with a hot woman. That's true. Until it yeah. became a hotter woman. Uh, but yeah, I, don't, I mean, we got we got Stumble Danny pots. connections now. Uh, we can pull yeah. some strings with kind of funny and get him on that yeah. punkbuster case. I Tell him what to spend his Patreon money on. <laughs> it's really interesting when like people there's want a, it. a company that kind of has the monopoly on one thing, and you're like, how the fuck did they get this? Like, there's that company that does all the like credits for films. I forget what James, you know, what it's called. Uh, yeah, Scarlet Letters. Scarlet Letters does like <laughs> so many, and then like all the like all your zippers on your clothes have like why? Oh yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. like that one company. It's like how does that company get that? Yeah. Copyright, I'm they guessing. Just, They're the only ones I that can make any patent. credits. They got some a patent. patent. Yeah. So I, I have a question about movies. You know, at the end they always have that. Little like world logo, yeah. and then there's a number. It's like number blah 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 blah. Yeah. Is that so? That's the number film or because I I don't know. Like you go back and watch a movie from the '90s, and it's like film number uh, twenty thousand or whatever. And you watch a movie today, and it's like film number three hundred thousand two hundred fifty-eight. Uh, I don't think that's what it is. Yeah, what is that? I, I mean, do they just sign? It might it be number? something associated with its copyright information. Now or? this is all information I could I easily know. find on yeah, Google. Yeah, I, I, I honestly have no ask idea. <laughs> A panel of uninformed individuals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is what podcasts are. Yeah. Well, speaking of patents, though, I saw that the patent for the first toilet paper roll holder 
shows the toilet paper going over and not under. Oh, really? So like people are always like, well, what is it? You put it over. Case. It? I feel like if you put it, if you put it under, you're pretend, you're pretentious under asshole. Bullshit. Why, why, why are yeah. you pretentious? Because you're like, nothing. oh, this is nicer looking. Oh, bullshit. You there's know. no benefit to underhang. That's dumb. That's dumb I, and stupid. I don't think I've. I mean, like, I, I don't ever notice what I do when I put on when I put it on, but. Now that I know that under is pretentious, I'm going to do over. <laughs> do over all the time, bro. <laughs> well, no, it's not. I mean, just I, I mean that's, that's what Adam said to me before the podcast. <laughs> I just I just imagine the the homeless guy who found oh. a Zune with this Whoa. podcast on it from the future, <laughs> and, and he's listening. And he's like, yeah, over's not. Yeah, it's a little pretentious. <laughs> So, uh, just, just to cut in real quick, James punched a girl so hard her top exploded off. Yeah, yeah you're damn right. I, uh... In the game. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, when I, when I selected this game, I did my usual, you know, verification, mm -hmm. uh, the rigorous testing, uh, that I did. Boner test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Do I have a heart on? <laughs> um, no, I was... Gentlemen, we have a winner. I was curious if it was one of the games where the girls' clothes shred off when they take damage. Turns out, yes, it is. Uh, That's every game. Speaking of girls' clothes coming off, mm -hmm. uh, are they one of the... I'm, I'm oh. sure you're on it, Lawrence. The subreddit uh, live stream fails. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see the one. There's the girl. And so it's weird because Twitch has become this thing now where like anyone can stream anything. Yeah, and IRL there's... stuff. Yeah, so there's a girl who's just foam rolling, but she's doing it totally wrong. Uh oh. It's, it looks like like uh. She's just like smashing her tits. In it looks the... like a dolphin that wiped up on the ocean, and it's just uh. like kind of doing this. But one, she has a nip slip, oh. and it's like oh no. Uh, and I'm just sort of like. Girl. I, a I'm, girl. I mean, look, if you gotta make a buck, make a buck. I, like, I, I'm not is she gonna... not wearing a sports bra? I mean, I think she is, but it was a little too tight for her. Well, yeah, because she's trying huh. to impress all the people. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It. Maybe not tight Ooh, enough. Whoa. Maybe, maybe, well, maybe, the, whoa, boy. maybe it's just too small. Yeah, if it's too Look small and then nipple location, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing can happen. Also, I think it's more of an areola. <laughs> but yeah. rega regardless, it's just funny that... <laughs> so it originally started as Justin TV, right? Yeah. Where it was yes. about, like, live streaming your life, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Then it became Twitch. This was then named it after uh, Justin Timberlake, right? No, Justin Bieber, right? Was it? Was it? I, I thought the guy who founded it. Wall. Yeah, I thought it was oh, somebody found, founded it. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, I won't look it up. This is what podcast. <laughs> nice, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, sorry, I thought Justin Bieber like had did some huge thing, and I'll it, it was it. the first yeah, thing that got streamed. Through. <laughs> I think he must have been nine. You no, know, Justin Wong makes a lot more sense. I thought it was Justin Wong. Justin Khan. What? You know, James Khan's son. Oh boy, this is getting, this is getting real complicated. K A N. Yeah, Maybe Justin, Justin Khan. The original Justin TV was a single channel channel featuring founder Justin Khan. K A N. Oh. K -A -N -Khan. We were all wrong. No. Yeah. Okay. I, regardless, but now it it's coming back around with Twitch IRL. Yeah. yeah. And it's just just like uh, just watching people do stuff. <laughs> yeah. Damn right. It's a little weird. Do you think See, maybe if I did a nipple slip? That people would uh, share that clip around. Maybe you better bust it out, Bruce. You'd have to do growth. like like, like tip one? slip or something. Ah, like, a little bit of your dick tip yeah. slip. <laughs> ew. Hey guys, just riding my <laughs> recumbent <laughs> bike. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> uh, oh, my sponsors, wait. whoever made these really small shorts that I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I had a tip slip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang. Don't share this clip, yeah. guys. No. Don't, wiggle, share this, wiggle, wiggle. don't share this tip slip clip. <laughs> <laughs> Go to tipslip.com. Yeah, oh, Thanks for the bits. <laughs> Rotate the camera. Bits for bits. No nope. oh. yeah, bits. For oh boy. Bits. It's gonna smell underneath there. Right, hey, look, it's the hero shot. <laughs> Would Rooster Teeth fire you if you had a what, tip, tip slip? slip? Um, I don't know if they'd fire me. I mean, it's kind of like whatever I whatever I do on my own time is my time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I say there, there's a big difference between own my tip. Bruce in his free time having his dick accidentally <laughs> <laughs> fall out and and then Bruce like at three o'clock he's like I gotta go dro drive by the school <laughs> <laughs> okay here's a scenario though uh -huh. Bruce, is, Bruce has been asked to come on the Rooster Teeth podcast <laughs> yeah. to demonstrate like some new some new like fitness or something uh -huh. some uh -huh. some new yep. meme or whatever and he's wearing a pair of funhouse shorts from the RT store we to promote funhouse shorts I don't think yeah, so but she's saying future future, future oh. yeah future but but they're a little short, so he's been asked to do this. He's been given the company shorts that are too short for him. Company shorts. He's been asked to do this specific thing. For he like has the here. tip slip. <laughs> he has the tip slip. Is he held accountable? Um, so I have the tip slip on company time? On the, Yeah, but you were asked to do all this stuff. I am, then I am the absolutely not well, accountable. No, you're not. The, the I'm not accountable because uh, this was a work-related injury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if it were me at home working out like that chick, and, and you know, like again, like I was like doing a stretch or something, yeah. I turned around and my dick popped out. Uh -huh. That would be my fault. 
because yeah. that was on my own sure. Twitch time. Accidental tip, do not you will acquit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll be saying. I yeah, I wonder what it would take for Bruce to get fired. I, I think like <laughs> Let's find no, out. No, no, like I, mean, I think I, I think like <laughs> Yeah, before the end of this video, can we make it happen? I think nudity on your free time is like you do what you gotta do. But the yeah. minute you start like you throwing out weird conspiracy theories. My tip is chafed. It needs, yeah. it needs air. I'm just wondering <laughs> how you. The doctor you're, told me so. <laughs> how you're going to incorporate a tip slip into your Zelda <gasps> All right. gameplay? Well, because it, it has to be natural. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, just oh wow, making food, guys. <laughs> <laughs> say, did you guys see that thing that he did? See I'm going to cool put flip? some put some mushrooms in this one. Uh, oh, 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 my <laughs> penis fell out three times today. Uh, <laughs> weird. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, it's always so. It's always like um, because I've, I've seen a few of these words. The girl, she goes like. Oops, I dropped something. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's the most just like, <laughs> here, I'll do this. Please do. Sonic coin. It's always she this. bends over. She goes like this. She goes like, hey, hold on, guys. I'm going to get a drink. She goes. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, well. Beautiful. It's very Monty Humans Python. are amazing creatures. Which is great. It, it's. Yeah, the well, yeah, but she knows when she bends over, the bits go up. Yep. Yeah. But so then they get their channel banned, and then they have to do it again. I bet we're gonna see this video of you skyrocket at the when you bend over. Yeah. Maybe I think Lawrence yeah. was in the way. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. <laughs> ain't, ain't that the case? Don't Always in the way of sexual him. arousal, one yeah. way or the other. Sorry. Oh, you gotta spend. What is that? Bust points. Well, what's the maximum number I can spend? This makes forty-one bust points. You have your forty-one, forty-nine. I hope so. Man, that'd be cool if you could level yep. up your tits. Actually, I did see a game where that happens. You uh. What's that do? You fight enemies in a dun- That's Wait, not- hold on. She's gonna draw new. my new bikini. Oh, okay, it's a laser crafting. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> it's a perfect size! Man, it's tiny! <laughs> Gosh. Why do they need a futuristic 3D printer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do something that a, a five-year-old in Cambodia can they, do. Yeah, they materialized the bikini BP. around a- whatever, who cares. So wait, you spend- He spent 4,000 BPs on <laughs> that. Spent it all. A lot you spend of bikini points and then it's just like, it's a lottery- I guess the more get? points you spend, the higher- Odds it has for you getting something new. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Okay. That makes sense. Overwatch you could learn there from this are. game. <laughs> Jeff Kaplan's watching this. He's not. Did you uh, equip it? Equip? Equip your lingerie. Can you? Uh, maybe you just unlocked it. Maybe That's not. it? That's all you do? You can look at a bikini on a mannequin? That nah, doesn't make any that, sense. No, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Item purchase. Lingerie printer. Sorry, go ahead and talk That's about That's just Jeff a Kaplan shop. Overwatch. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, on to our next, our next controversial inflammatory topic. Boy, this is a big one, guys. This is, this is an atom bomb. Okay. Uh, the PlayStation YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uploaded uploaded the Anthem gameplay. New Destiny. Except they edited PlayStation buttons over the Xbox buttons. Wait, how did people find that out? Because there was there was like a, a frame or two where uh, the like effects were like fading onto screen. Oh uh, shit. And they saw in those couple of frames there was like a crossfade of the PlayStation graphics popping on top of the Xbox prompt. Did they think people wouldn't see that? I think so. Oh my god. But there's I mean, a, the there's same a chance EA made that, right? Sorry, Liz. Oh no, no, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. I'm guessing EA made the trailer and then it was on Sony to make it <laughs> to make it Sony-ish. There's, there's your cheat. Those buttons are yeah, gonna do the same thing those other buttons do. <laughs> so fucking well, yeah. There's, there's no way that there's no well, I, okay, so I can guarantee you PlayStation Don't would you? not have Xbox branding anywhere on their official YouTube channel. Sure. <laughs> you guys no. keep telling me to put it on. I it put is it on. on. It's, it's just on, on under everything. It's That's underneath bullshit. the clothes. Yeah, and well, you got to get hurt in battle so your go. bikini pops out. But now, stop moving. X, now Xbox and PlayStation tweeted each other, each other before press conferences, wishing them one another luck. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, so like that. The big deal was that it was an X, it was Xbox One capture that yeah. they put up on the PlayStation oh, yeah. channel, which is, I mean, that's total bullshit. Yeah, in my, in my opinion. Well. It, it's not. It, like Adam um, said, if EA provided it to them, what's what's PlayStation gonna know? They're not gonna check those frames. They're gonna be like, oh, cool, thanks. But at the end of the day, they're okay. So going back to when the PS4 oh. and the Xbox One were first announced, everyone got excited because they're what are you doing? The the damning screenshot. Oh uh, no. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Kind of see it there. <laughs> yep. I, I'm just saying. First of all, that game is pre-alpha, whatever. So we don't know what it's gonna look like. Yeah. And that all that stuff was made on a PC. It's all it's all dev units. It the, it's not the hardware was not the Xbox One X hardware was not finalized when they made that demo. There, th so what you saw there, and I think you've seen some other games where they did this too, where you're seeing it all on PC. Well, we don't know that. They haven't confirmed that. 
And so that's what I'm trying to say is that yeah. they should confirm that. They should say, yeah. this is on a PC debug system. Sure. And then that way it doesn't matter where it goes, right? It's well, the there are Xbox, there are One X uh, dev units out there. There are, and that's, sure. what I'm, that's what I'm trying yeah. to say. They should have played the game on a PS4 dev system and put it on the PlayStation channel. Yeah, but maybe it's not running as good as it was on the X One X. But I am. But Ooh. maybe it will once it's out, oh. so it, like, it, gets, it gets messy. But yeah, yeah certainly, certainly PlayStation people are very upset. I mean, it, it it's weird because... I, I, in a lot of ways, have graduated out of out of console warriorism, <laughs> even though it still happens. For now, I'm just like whatever, whatever I can play it on, I don't care. Sure. Uh, but it is kind of interesting to get back into that mindset of Sony people feeling betrayed or lied to that they saw footage of a game that was purportedly we don't even know, but purportedly running on the competitor's hardware. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Adam, to your point, yeah, most games are just made on PC. Yeah, and, and I. I will eat a small portion of a hat uh -huh. if the final game ends up looking like that opening sure. cutscene, and that mm. that is in game and not like some cinematic trickery. Because oh, like that had to have been delivered. That clip had to have been delivered by EA, like you said, Adam. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Was, and so. like Adam's probably right. It was probably off a of PC, but or we don't know that. Whatever PR company the EA contracts, mm -hmm. I'm sure that they, like the the dev team probably. They, it's the, probably they probably had intern. a vertical slice, and then the dev team captured it, and then the, the PR company like cut it together or whatever. So don't be mad at Sony. Well, Sony did nothing wrong. Sony. Oh, no, I, I, yeah, I think Sony's mis misrepresenting it. That's and that's my only but problem. But maybe Sony didn't down? know. Yes, they, okay. they took the video down. No, so that, that's fine. I, I'm guessing. God damn, every, this, we always talk about this, but it's company culture. There's always a lot of people doing a lot of stuff, and basically, I'm sure EA, whoever EA's uh, PR company said, oh, here's a clip. Uh, this is the thing we showed at the Xbox press conference. Uh, here's the PlayStation version. Here you go. And some poor intern had to Photoshop in different buttons because they're like, well, the dev unit we have is using Xbox mm -hmm. buttons now. So what do we do? And they're like, uh, they're, they're figure like, it out. Well, like, yeah. well, we could we could ask the devs who are really busy right now, uh, not at E3. They're actually working on the game. Or sorry, it's the Bioware devs, right? Yeah. It was Bioware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like those guys are slaving away right now. It's like, do you really want to email them and say? Can you guys redo the demo, but with PlayStation buttons? Well, the fault's <laughs> and they're like, fuck no, we gotta make a game, fuck off. The fault still lies with PlayStation, though. They should have done those those checks before they put the video That's up. That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, like, it's, because you're, you're right, it is a lot of work. That's their job. Yeah. <laughs> so, but they, to the, yeah, to the 25-year-old who runs the... <laughs> Sony YouTube channel? Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, that's... That no, no, that's what I'm saying. Job. That's, that's your enemy. That's who you're mad at right now. Oh, no, oh, I yeah. see. It's not the giant corporation who's making crazy decisions about okay, uh, what chip chill. is going to go into which system and, you know, the, the next PlayStation and stuff like that. This oh, is yeah. so low level. So, yeah, I don't know. For me, for me, this is sort of the... This is maybe the first skirmish the shot heard around the world. Oh, boy. I feel like things are going to get a little spicy once the One X comes out because Sony, Sony users have, for a long time, I think, been comfortable knowing that their platform is, on paper, at least the most powerful thing. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like PlayStation 3 was, I think, by the math, better than a 360. PlayStation 4 is certainly better than the launch of the Xbox One. Mm -hmm. And now you have the PS4 Pro versus a One S, which is just, like, totally divergent. One X is legitimately and mathematically more powerful than a PlayStation 4 Pro. Sure. So it'll be interesting. I think, <laughs> I think certain flare-ups like that, which is, calling it a flare-up is even still overstating it a bit, but uh, I'm excited for that sort of thing to come back because I always did enjoy the sort of back and forth. I think it does it, it. It consumes some people to an unhealthy degree. Like they get real mad about it I to guess. the point of making death threats and shit. But it stimulates consumerism. It does. It yeah. does. Yeah. That. The, I mean, it's kind of like the oh. Funhouse Achievement Hunter rivalry. We like to play it up only because it's good for business. Well, yeah, at, at least actually fun. hates Gavin. And yeah, at least he's does. my we rival, professional that. rival. Both Gavin. such successes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we just. The, at some point, I'm gonna, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna take the slow mo guys clip and like just put my face over Gavin's and hope nobody notices. <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> over. Okay, You'd have babe. to. Yeah. That British woman is great. <laughs> so, wait, uh, the girl's sister is her weapon? Mm -hmm. So she has to finger blast her own sister to turn her into. Man, I don't I haven't think seen so. any finger yeah, blasting. Seen you said like that. That was in the show. Maybe it's not in the game. I don't think it's in the game. Have they, have they showed the transformation? How do they transform? So they just embrace their like power of their sister's they get, love. Like, gloves and stuff. Huh. Okay. So my my question for the room, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, now that well, at what age do you get to where you realize that most everything's just some, it, you're just lucky it's not breaking yeah. at that moment, and that goes for video games and hardware, because people can sit there all day and go, Apple's better than Android or yada yada yada. It's like everything fucks up at some point, and that is, is 
totally true for video games. And a console that has more numbers than the other one usually doesn't make too much of a difference. Having owned everything, like a game like Zelda Breath of the Wild, right? For the most part, runs great. They had to patch it. Had some issues, some frame rate issues, but you're like, I'm just happy this thing is running. And everyone was telling me how shitty the Switch hardware was. I'm like, it doesn't matter if the game is good. Mm. Right? There it is. There's, There's your games. cheetah. James, James, good job taking, yeah. taking some yeah. shots there. Oh wait, no, that's that's the enemy. Never I have a friend, friend that's playing Breath of the Wild on, on the Wii U right now, mm -hmm. and is fucking flipping out over how good the game is. Yeah, we're spoiled. Those are those are the exceptions. So that was the, it. Those are the exceptions, not the rules. Those games, like well, the, the, Zelda yeah. Breath of the Wild, comes I guess, along guess what I'm saying. Once when you, every ten years, if you if you want to be a goddamn idiot and get into the console war or whatever, and sit there and spout how your piece of plastic is better than another piece, person's piece of plastic and silicon. Like really, like I mean, is is a I'm trying to think of like what's a game that that's third or whatever runs on all consoles now. Like what's a, like like my version of FIFA, FIFA is gonna yeah. be yeah better on Xbox than it is. You know, it's in 4K. It's like what the fucking do if the game yeah. still crashes yeah. or the online service goes down. And it's the same as FIFA or, 16. Yeah, which just came out a year ago. <laughs> you're like really? It's like is it gonna be that much of a difference that you're gonna have your mind blown? It, I don't know. Well, I think that's what I think that's up to one X, and because they've been they've been touting that. Yep. So it's kind of like, yeah, if it's only a ten percent difference, like who cares? But uh, if it's more, I mean, you know, who knows? It, it's it's up to it. Really, honestly, is up to the consumer as always. Where they'll if if it's noticeably different, and everyone says, "Holy shit, this is noticeably different." You have to buy a new TV yeah. to notice the difference. Well, that was the again same exact thing happened. Three sixty PS three generation. They. Uh, HD TVs were not common, nor were HDMI ports at all. Mm -hmm. But that's where all the consoles were, and the tech forward people, boom! Ooh. The tech forward people <laughs> uh, bought into it because it was worth it to them. Everyone else waited until TVs were like 400 bucks at Black Friday on Walmart, and that's when they got them. I, so. I feel like people are being misguided. Um, uh, I mean, I feel like I I think think I, both companies have been pretty upfront about what their console will and won't do for 1080p. Or oh, oh no, I, I just mean from the salesmanship perspective. Everyone's mm. putting a focus on 4K and look at the bigger resolution. When I, I wish all games could run at a steady frame rate. Yeah, yeah. I think frame rate honestly is probably what we should be focusing on. Well, that, I no, I and, agree. and a console, a console will never do 120 plus frames. <laughs> Uh, not this generation. Not this generation. Yeah. One, uh, they, so Spencer has said, Phil Spencer, Xbox, oop, Xbox dude. You call him Spence. Yeah, Spees. <laughs> yeah. uh, Peasy Spees, I call him. Uh, he's, he's remarked that One X will run Xbox One games at a faster frame rate, 1080p. Like, it, it does mm. roll back and okay. make your, your previous games run better. Uh, to what degree? I don't know. Because certain things to that effect were also said about PlayStation Pro. And while that does happen, they have boost mode and stuff like that now, it's not quite... Like, it's better, but it's not so much better that it necessarily justifies the purchase of a new console, that kind of thing. Sure. So yeah, I agree. I think messaging is tough, because to your point, it would be nice to tell people exactly what they're going to get. But at the same time, you can't really say that, because at a point it is sort of de dependent on the individual developer to work that in reverse. Unless, like, okay. it seems I, like with Microsoft, I, I, the I API just supports it. it. Oh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. 4, 4K isn't going to save you. <laughs> I'm just glad we have clean drinking water. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Michigan. <laughs> Some someday the government will get around to helping you out. Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're on your own. Welcome to America. Well, well unless you're not from America and you're listening to this from somewhere else. Yeah. Welcome Most likely to, are. Welcome to the country of your heritage, mm -hmm. which I'm sure is beautiful and wonderful. Uh, how how would speaking of speaking of America being awesome? Mm -hmm. How was your guys' fourth? Of July, Independence Day. America's great. We had the day off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was good. I went to an arcade. <laughs> oh. Where was the arcade? Uh, I was in City of Industry. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah. It was in the Puente Hills Mall. The Back to the Future Mall. The Lone Pine. City that time left behind. Yeah. <laughs> kinda. There's still a mall there, so. The irony. Yeah. Uh, but it was cool. Played some weird ass Japanese games. That was sweet. Mm hmm. Played a. Uh, a Japanese arcade. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Weird, right? Played uh, played some Beat Mania. Got my shit. Got my shit going. Mm -hmm. They had a new Space Invaders Ticket Redemption game. Walloped it. I think it might have been broken because it was paying out way too much. Uh oh. Five hundred tickets every game, James. Uh huh. I could have just sat there and racked it up. Got those Tetris lights you, out of the gift shop. It would have only cost you eight hundred dollars to get a yeah. Nintendo DS. <laughs> no, it was it was paying out like crazy, man. 
I was saying, 500 tickets for uh, six credits or whatever. I mean, I don't know. It's like carnival math. You can't really tell what you're spending. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't want you to. Yeah, as long then as I got a mustache comb. Got a hot dog on a stick. Did you? Yeah. Stephanie got a cheese on a stick. Uh, what's That's a cheese a on a stick? It's just a block of American cheese that they batter and fry. I, I like that. So good. I like that. It's it really literally good. a descriptive title. Yeah. Cheese on a stick. And at least he goes, what is that? <laughs> what could it be? Yeah, well, really I mean, good. I wanted to know the details. Like he mentioned the batter. Is it like, is it it's a, corn an unbattered? Is, you know, what is it? It's corn batter. It ends up tasting like a, uh, it ends up tasting like a grilled cheese because it's all warm and toasty. It is American cheese though. So it's a little goopy. Uh, it gets a little... I feel so bad for the hot dog on a stick employees. Me too. Yeah. Every time you walk by. Yep. The hat. I've always said, uh, like, Jesus Christ, how many more hot dogs do you sell because you make your employees look ridiculous <laughs> all day, every day? It, like, it looks like the uh, someone in the fi like 1500s being shamed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, like, fool! That is the public fool! Laugh yeah. at them! And this person's like, would you like lemonade with your so hot like, dog? I'm working for minimum fucking wage yeah. in this mall and you have to make me look like an asshat. Yeah, I've always wanted to march on Washington to complain <laughs> about hot dog on the stick. Hey, they they agreed to it. That was, that was their I choice. I know, but That's why? True. Job's a job, man. It's gonna be demoralizing at some point. Uh, even like McDonald's is like updated their like outfit, their yeah. attire, yeah, and like I'll pull up, like I'll pull up to a McDonald's like drive through or whatever, and I'm like, yeah. look, it's slick, bro. Yeah. Like it's looking pretty good yeah, or whatever. I'm like, and I you're would like wear McDonald's that. polo, yeah. I would wear that. He <laughs> looks like you look like an NFL coach. Yeah. Well, they, oh, some yeah, they wear those like gray like button up shirts. Yeah, some look of good. Them, like, oh, yeah, and I think they updated like good. the fabric of the uniforms and stuff too, to like make it a little, like a little wick, you know, wick sweat better, a little breathable. Oh, the thing. Yeah, Bruce. Sorry, Bruce is in another tutorial. This oh. game has a lot of tutorials. You, you can see the fast food, uh, you know, wheels churning. It's like McDonald's, like we make so much fucking money yeah. off of these thirty-nine cent hamburgers. Let's put it back hey. into the business. We'll make it. Hey. We'll make all sixty-four thousand hey. of our locations. Probably more than that, right? Uh, either way, though, we're gonna make them. We're gonna update and make it all nice. Whereas Taco Bell's like. We made a deep fry burrito, <laughs> <laughs> which, by the way, I had Taco Bell the other day. It was delicious. Nice. B, oh, press and hold A. Such release a, a good what? and bad idea. So it's like oh. the, the whole thing's deep fried. Oh, they have like it's basically. I think it's a it's a chalupa. I, I, they always have a new menu item once a month or something. They're like, I think they're just running out of ideas because Mexican food <laughs> can only go so far. But they're like, it's the double chal chalupa, and it's about the size of a hot dog bun. Yeah, but it's just full of meat and like oh. ranch. <laughs> Oh, that sounds great! I, and I tried eating it while driving. I think we were going out for uh, Barbara's birthday, and Jess and I were both starving. He's like, let's just go to Taco Bell on the way. And we're just eating the car, and it's just immediately splashing everywhere. And it's like, <laughs> so fucking good! It's like Kramer's, uh, his, uh, what do you call them, being rolled too tight? Yeah. And just spraying you in the eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> crepes. His right. crepes being rolled too tight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're all hot. They were, they were Dominicans, not Cubans. <laughs> <laughs> they rolled them too tight. <laughs> Um, Fourth of July, it was good. Okay. It was the, gr the day was great, except like in the evening, of course. Then Benson got uh, freaked out fireworks. by the fireworks. Oh, yeah. Poor Benny. You give yeah. him whiskey? Did he ha give him whiskey? That's what my, my mom's roommate would Poor do that eyes. to our dog, Sinbad. Oh, you dog. Had. I don't know. Yeah. Like was that's Sin the kind of thing you hear, like the old, not necessarily old wives' tales, because I'm sure it works. But it's like, oh, my it infant child. They were having trouble they were the sleeping, or whatever. so I just, dog. I just take a little whiskey <laughs> mm -hmm. and I just fill a whole shot glass of it and I <laughs> pour it down the child's throat and he just, he would go right to sleep and I'm like, yeah, but you gave a kid yeah, like, whiskey. My, my kid couldn't sleep so I filled the shot glass with whiskey and I just drank it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I drank it. Drank it <laughs> Was your dog out. named Sinbad after the comedian or the sailor? I have Is no idea. Difference? Yeah. We, we kind of inherited it. I don't know if I've ever talked about... So I, I grew up in kind of a weird way where <laughs> my mom and dad... All you talk about. You don't say. <laughs> well, no, well, I don't know if I've ever talked about it on the podcast, but like my mom and dad... when I think my mom had me when she was only like 19, but... Uh, so my mom nice. and dad... Fuck you. Um, <laughs> my mom and dad uh, work together in a halfway house. Uh -huh. Holy oh. shit. Yeah, so I grew up with right. Well, she's like now, but yeah. at this time she was 20 something, whatever, living with my dad. And it was basically free rent. Uh -huh. They ran a house for a bunch of kids who were like their parents either killed themselves or they had mm -hmm. drug problems. So there's like, it was me living with like five or six different kids at a time mm -hmm. that were always rotating in and out. Not a great place to raise a child mm -hmm. uh, upon reflection. <sighs> but, um,. My mom's, uh, my mom had a friend who also did the same thing, and basically my mom and her her friend had like went through a divorce at the like exact same time, and mm -hmm. then they're like, oh, let's just become roommates. 
and then they also both became cops. It sounds really oh, weird. Oh, sweet. It's a sitcom. It pretty much was. So for a single white female, it that's was kind of what I'm getting. For like, for about 10 years, I think it was like, it was her kids, and then my mom, and or my, my mom, my brother, and I living with there, so we inherited their dog, Sinbad. Uh-huh, gotcha. And he was just like an, he was like a mixed lab husky, like everything. He was the, he was the greatest dog ever. He, he had like white fur, so he'd lay down on the sidewalk when we had... We would chalk it up, uh-huh. and he'd get up and he'd be like half blue and red. <laughs> yeah, classic Sinbad. But, but he'd flip out <laughs> during fireworks, and then my mom's roommate, who I believe was a little crazy. Um, Told you. Yeah, she's absolutely white female. Is that well, why you have a special relationship with Benson? Benson's just a good dog. I just love dogs. Yeah, dogs are the, like the greatest creatures on this planet. They're so yes. loyal. Um, but yeah, my mom's roommate would. I remember she'd pour whiskey into his water on Fourth mm-hmm. of July, and he'd drink it, and he'd like kind of chill out a little bit. But I, I always wondered, I was like, why would he drink it? Whiskey tastes terrible. Yeah, yeah I'm surprised yeah. he did. Benson would sniff that and then probably not want it. Yeah, because really? it didn't smell like chicken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I give him chicken. We gave him some of this, like, Bowser beer once, which Joel, Joel and Dane... Or no, was it Jess? Maybe Jess gave yeah, it to Yeah, we gave us. it to you. Yeah. You're welcome, though. I'm no, glad no, you thought Joel I, gave you a no, gift I was and thinking, it wasn't me. Uh, no. <laughs> wow, you really it's dug true. that hole real fast, <laughs> real deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, Benson loved that stuff. That was good. He uh, he could not get enough of it. No, we figured out it's just chicken broth, basically. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's so. a little cute little bottle. And and dogs eat trash, so it doesn't yeah. really matter. Yeah. I saw Benson once eat an entire chicken bone out of my garbage can. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Because it. it smelled like chicken. And I was like, I was trying to get away from it, and just like, it became like a crocodile. It was like, <laughs> it was like these giant, like you don't want to get your yeah, hand. He, yeah. like, he would crush your hand. Yeah, he's very powerful. He lo- he's oh. very. When people see him, they think, man, that dog is strong. <laughs> <and> powerful. <laughs> Trash uh, dog. He is a trash dog. All right. Uh, I guess we gotta serve up some hard nets. Oh yeah, hard netting. Yep. Do you need the computer for that or no? No, 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 no. This is mostly a verbal hard net. Okay. It's a, it's a story, a story of somebody who netted maybe a little too hard. So if you recall last week's uh, challenger, unseated game girl power, the poor lady who shot her boyfriend to death oh for a gosh. YouTube stunt. The worst. Also, she was pregnant. Also, she had a kid. So that's cool. The worst. Yep. Mm. Well, maybe she can... No, we'll make a joke about her shooting at her children. That'd be a little too far. Mm-hmm. We don't do that here. You think? <laughs> we don't do that here. Yeah. The, uh, the, the contender this week is Sinclair Networks. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but... So there was a bit of a, bit of a kerfuffle lately. Uh, Sinclair Networks, a, face, a group or a company that's on Facebook, declared that we, are, we have exclusive news. We work with Bioware on Mass Effect. And we are sorry to tell you that they have canceled their single-player DLC for Mass Effect Andromeda. Mm-hmm. Problem is, Sinclair Networks isn't real. It never has been. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so, let's see here. Uh, quote... Uh, oh yeah, so when Sinclair Networks started, Eurogamer actually reached out to some, some of the members of Sinclair Networks. Uh, apparently it was just like a tech support company. Just some dudes started a page and people would write in questions and they'd be like, Okay, clear your cookies. You good? Okay. They called it Sinclair Networks, and that's just what it was. They would just help people fix their computers. Um, Quote, when I was there, we offered advice to people like making gaming rigs and stuff like that, but Jorg Keller, another friend of Sinclair's, uh, insert written by the author, wanted to make it look uh, look more official like an actual company. Then they started listing employees on Facebook, and uh, then they started... They started posting patch notes for other people's games. What? So they would just basically Why? kind of start posting this stuff, making it seem like they were involved with what they were posting, but they were just posting it. Huh. Didn't do a thing. Uh, wow. Quote, it's not a real company, uh, Reese continued. Quote, it's a few guys who like to troll people. When I joined, we, would, we, we used to post patch notes, but then they started posting rumors about DLC and nonsense, changing their details to be a developer, and I bailed. It's just a few trolls trying to get a reaction through fake news and bullshit like that to trigger the gullible. Now they've been called out, and they ran for the hills. <laughs> so what happens is, what happened was, uh, Sinclair Networks tweeted out that they had exclusive information about Bi- Bioware DLC, uh, said that single-player DLC was cancelled. Bioware said, we have no idea who the fuck they are and we've never worked with any company on any of our DLC. But another rumor came out that's a little more substantial saying that Mass Effect is getting shelved. Like they're basically done with it for now. Yeah. Meaning there probably won't be single-player DLC. So essentially what happens now is all of the Mass Effect, the crazy Mass Effect fans who really want a DLC are taking all of their anger out on these dudes hmm. who just did a stupid internet prank. Got it. I see. So the hard net, the play is making up a fake company, posting some bullshit, and then accidentally becoming the villain to an entire group of nerds who just want to fly around space and bang aliens. Do you, hmm. Is this worse than what CNN did? Did you... All of it? I'm well, no, did sure. you hear the... the no, like, this is like, uh, this morning, I think. 
what they did? Uh, there, so there was the the GIF Trump posted. Oh, and they made their counter video or whatever. I don't know if they made a counter video. It was but a counter GIF, right? I don't. Well, they I, made a whole video. Yeah, they made like a whole video. About a CNN head being like, I got assaulted. Yeah. Yeah. So, whatever. It was like CNN was butt hurt over the whole thing. Yada yada yada. Um, I'm not. I am in no way taking any sides in this anyway. Yeah, but, I'll take a side. I'm on CNN side. Uh, <laughs> well, here's the fun part where you probably don't want to be on CNN side. They reached out and found out who the guy was who made the GIF. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And are basically holding his name hostage. They're doing like a blackmail thing saying like, you need to be nice to us uh, for now on, otherwise we'll release your name to the public. What? Who is they? CNN. CNN is a whole organization. So, I mean, what I guess the article they posted mm. where they more or less It's said Han that. Solo asshole or Han asshole oh. solo. Yeah, yeah, but they basically said, we they will, figured out we who will he keep is. his name. Yeah, they found out who he was uh -huh. and they're like, we we won't reveal his name for now uh -huh. if he continues to like well, not make gifts. What I'm <laughs> seeing that's getting beat up is like fuck off. What I'm weird. Adam, did you actually read that or was that somebody else's interpretation? Uh, I skimmed it because what I'm reading here well, is because the Twitter hashtag or whatever right now is like CNN blackmail. No, yeah, no, people are trying to defame CNN. I so I'm not I haven't read the article, but what I'm reading here, which is New York Times coverage of it, but it's quoting the article. I'll try to find the original, but it says. Uh, CNN wrote an article that was not published using the, the user's name, quote, because he is a private citizen who issued an extensive statement of apology, showed his remorse by saying he has taken down all of his offending posts, and because he said he is not going to repeat this ugly behavior on social media again. In addition, he said his statement could serve as an example of others not do the same. The continued quote, CNN reserves the right to publish his identity should any of that change. So I guess that's what you're referring to. Yeah. They're basically saying we can post his name if he doesn't end up showing remorse or apologizing. <laughs> but he already did. Yeah, and also, yeah. He did, he so was, I guess he was kind of shitty I mean, for that's a not really how black, blackmail works, though. Yeah, eh, I, mean, I mean it. So it's, yeah, it's not. I wouldn't call that. Yeah, that's I mean, not blackmail. Think but about it this way: it, that's a shitty thing to do. Not really. I think they were doing him a solid. A, an actual news organization would publish his name because they can. There you go. Yeah. So they're actually kind of doing him a favor by not, even though it, it was kind of phrased in a weird. They didn't need to say that last part, right? They could have just said, "We're not going to publish." I think that was their subtle that. way of saying, "Look, see, we're not assholes," which. But generally is the kind of thing most non-assholes non -assholes don't have to say. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. It's gonna sound like I'm defending CNN. I'm just defending the actual practice of journalism, which a lot of people have weird ideas about. You're you're allowed to, and Nate is your job to publish the full truth when you have it. Um, sometimes you acknowledge the context, which is what CNN did in this story. But mm. it's not it's not really blackmail to acknowledge we didn't publish this guy's name, but we can still. That's yeah. just acknowledging that they have it, the right to well, journalism. It's kind of a, it's like so. a weird ultimatum, either right? like. Kind don't make any more gifts, and if you do, we'll release your name. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, either be a journalist or don't. I they, don't know. Like, really but I mean, that's that not way, what though. they said. Yeah. <laughs> what they said was, we are journalists, thus we can post this person's name. We're not going to, though. I get it's weird. But that's we still could weird. if we. Yeah. The, the, because they are because by nature of the industry in which they work. The whole part of it, the part at the end, yeah. is weird. I acknowledge that. That's that's a little. They didn't need to say that. I don't know. I mean, th there's also ways of taking it way too far. Like when uh, I think it was Gizmodo had the iPhone four, yeah, and they posted links to like Ugh. the guy, the guys, like it was like a developer who left it at a bar oh, or something. Yeah. And they posted a, like a direct link to his Facebook, and I was like, "Fuck off!" Yeah, they should have done that. You guys yeah. are dicks. <laughs> the thing that I'm gets glad me about Hulk Hogan owns you. The gift, the like Twitter gift guy, is in his apology. It's it's kind of weird. He just straight up says, "I don't believe any of that stuff. I was just posting it because people on the subreddit would think I'm cool." Yeah. And I'm like, how I mean, many how many assholes do I encounter on the internet who are just doing it for the acceptance of their internet bros? <laughs> That's that, most well, of them. Well, hold on, hold on, knows. hold on. I don't know. We say a lot of shit we don't believe in. True. Yeah. Because you're right, you're right. Uh, through through assumed or an intended satire that we know people in our community don't pick up on as satire. Fair, fair. And so, like, you know, I'm not gonna shit on this guy for making it. That's a good point. But it's how people choose to use it. It's That's unfortunate really that now this CNN gift making guy debacle distracts from real legitimate problems and problematic yeah. people. Yeah. Um, uh, who I won't name. <laughs> That's, uh, but, at least, come on. We said we wouldn't. Never mind. It was Hillary. <laughs> She's the problem. She's the problem. <laughs> well, hey, if, if the last year in American politics has taught us anything, it's that distraction is a very powerful, yeah. weaponized tool now. Maybe North Korea was just trying to make us a really nice firework. Aww. Maybe. Aww. Oh, yeah, their timing is off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I, I bomb you on the side. That's the problem most. Weird. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, Adam, no, that's, that's weird. That's I weird. don't know. Sorry. I, that so was those, just. Those trolls. So the trolls, yeah. trolls versus... So uh, now we're... Trolls that don't, like, for me, it, trolling is one thing. 
But when you troll your way into like into a riptide and get yanked out into the middle of the ocean and you're <laughs> sitting there treading water because you got you you trolled the wrong thing at the wrong time, that to me is the hard net. So uh, so these these dumb gentlemen who were just like telling people how to how to set up their bookmarks bar suddenly found themselves the the villains of an entirely entirely swarming internet community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They trolled themselves into being trolled. Yep. You trolled yourself. So, what do you guys think? Uh, girlfriend that shot her boyfriend to death for YouTube subscribers? Or a group of dudes who trolled themselves into anger from the Mass Effect community? Oh, man. It's, they're still hard netting. The, the, the guy, or the woman who shot her boyfriend is still hard netting a lot harder. Okay. I, I see, I think those guys are working within the parameters and in, in infrastructure of the internet to net really, really hard. And then it was a very, like, calculated and long-term thing that ultimately... Ooh. Like, I think there was there was just a lot more put into that and, and utilizing the internet. What happened to celebrating the internet? Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's my thing. Yeah. That's, I'm celebrating it. I think it's really fucking funny. Not the shooting, not the death. That's sad. <laughs> and kind of funny. But but more the uh, bunch of dudes who just, like, pretend to be game developers and then get fucked because they didn't quite know the line they were walking. That's funny. Remember, I mean, the, that's in the, internet. the internet is made up of humanity. It yeah. is good and bad. Exactly. Mm. It's both. Mostly Celebr bad. We're celebrating this, damn it. Mm. We're celebrating stupid kids who pretend to be game developers. Yeah, my, my vote's for those guys. Yeah? Just because yeah. it was a, lo a long time a coming. Con. I'm with Elise, yeah. Really? Yeah, okay, I all right. That, I think that's pretty hard netting. I games. gotta go. I, I, I still stand by my policy of I would never vote for something where someone dies as a result and a family is shattered apart. So, unless one of those trolls gets killed... I don't think anyone's died yet. Then I think I'll go for those guys over the, uh... Over the poor, poor young people who are imagine, just stupid and being young. Imagine someone getting murdered by a Mass Effect fan for posting fake news about something they couldn't buy. It's not. I don't. It's not out of the question. Yeah. No, no, I know people have been killed for less. Yeah. Like, it's weird though. We're at that point. Yeah, like, it's really. Oh, sad. we've always been at that point. Yeah. There used to be things where people would like, like, let's play dice, and then some guy would roll like a snake eyes, and he go, oh, I'll kill you, and he crushes his head with a rock yeah. or something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Bruce, what was your what was I your think vote? at this point my vote is educational, but I'm still voting for the woman who shot her boyfriend. Because oh, okay. That is super hard netting. That's the that's the hardest netting. Unfortunately. There it is. <laughs> I feel like I smell it every time it pops yeah. up. <laughs> She's been running around. And also I'm probably smells down there. I'm just curious. <laughs> Bloody, I'm surprised there's no, there's not more more relief or definition on the vaginal bulge. Mm -hmm. I'd expect yes. more. Yes, I agree. I'd expect a collapse. Collapse. That's exactly what I was saying. That's what I would expect. I think I saw vag lips, or at least the sides of, in that show Glow. I like the way you say vag lips. Second yeah. drive. Second Gross. drive. Yeah, you said it like it was a person. I think I saw vag lips getting on the 110 <laughs> this <laughs> morning. <laughs> and I said, hey, vag lips! <laughs> <laughs> what up? Yeah. Well, there you have it. Sinclair it Networks work. is the new hard netter. Yay! Good job, Sinclair. Let's get away from sadness and death. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just some harmless internet. Party. I like the hole she has cut in her shirt so her boobs hang out. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one one note. I do enjoy how so they have their first round of battle damage uh -huh. where their boobs pop out, but then there's always some connective fabric that mm -hmm. holds their boobs in just a little bit still. Yeah. So when that pops off, boom! Then they're really free. I'm just impressed that uh, this game figured out a way to jiggle them tits twice. Mm -hmm. Yes. But no nudity. Not not so far. No. No. God, this bless. is a classy establishment that we. Oh yeah, we got a we got a laser laser scribe a new <laughs> bikini. Uh -huh. That's a lot of bikini points, man. 90, if I spend one bikini point, then that's 100 I, bikini one, points. Oh, 100 bikini yeah, points. I have 99 percent chance of getting a new item. So let's let's yeah, play let's the just, odds. Yeah. Uh oh. Nice. Nice job. Good. 100 percent. I don't understand why there's a timing game to. Because it increases the odds, it appears. Oh, that's Ooh, nice. you got that's a sailor bikini. That's classy. Oh, that's cute. That's classy. I'm gonna put that on. Gosh. I love how there's not a single bikini in this game that actually supports a tit. It just kind of lays on top of it. So there's a plenty of under tit that can What do you think out. support is? Yeah, <laughs> just being there for you. Yeah, being a yeah, being supportive is to decorate something and make it look better. Who's well, calling you? Must you get? I don't know. There's a 1-800 oh. number calling It's those Lawrence guys. Right it's the hard netters. Sinclair. <laughs> <Sinclair. laughs> uh, your DLC is yeah. canceled. Oh, I don't. All right. Spend 9,000. Oh, I don't need to. Me. This guy got Apparently, such high odds. You can write a letter to the FBI and ask them for their file on you. Really? We wow, should do I that. Know that. That's why I heard. I want to do that right now. I'd have to give them all my pseudonyms, and I don't want to do that. Is it like getting your credit check though? Like you'll take a ding. Oh yeah, I wonder. Or they're like, hey, this uh, potential sex offender asked for his <laughs> yeah his file. 
<laughs> well, let's bump him up on the list. Yeah. <laughs> Put him up to 3,000 on the most wanted. He's code yellow. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, I think that'll... Oh, God. Okay, so there's a little there's a little vaginal stretch on that one. No, that's just part of the underwear. It's just that's wood. The, the design of it. It looks like seeing, it's... You're it seeing looks what like you want to see, Lawrence. It looks like it's pulled tight. It looks like the, the vaginal pooch is shoving the fabric. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was... Barely was that? It still gave me the 100%. It did, you're oh, right. It doesn't matter. Be back. Be back. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> James is going to keep unlocking bikinis. Uh, we'll be back next week, live as usual. Uh, also, no post show this week. It's kind of hard to do a post show when there's no fan art. I guess we could just keep talking and James could keep unlocking bikinis. Mm -hmm. awesome. Maybe we will if we have time, but we got a lot of prep to do for RTX. So, sorry about that if it doesn't Ooh. end up happening. Man, on it every time. But yes, thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, thank you for hanging, hanging tough, making us part of your your routine. Hopefully. If you enjoyed this podcast, hey, recommend it to a friend. Mm. That's garbage. Mm. Too much. Again, covers too much. <laughs> and, Bye. We'll, uh, and yeah, hopefully you had a good I'll time. I'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys enjoy RTX. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Hello. Hey, Chad. How's it going? It's Lawrence. It's pretty good. What's up, man? Uh, I got a question for you. Yeah. It has nothing to do with Sonic or the Flash. Chad, you're live. Chad, you're live, by the way. I okay. should have told you that. You're live on the internet. Okay. Hey, internet. What's up? Hey, man. Uh, so, okay, we got hard net in here. Um, I pulled a little fast one on Elise. Aww. Don't tell her. <laughs>